thank you for your time. Uh, thank, thank you for your interview. Uh, you've been busy. I, 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 you know, I, I want to let you on that. You've been really busy. Uh, so that's really cool. Um, mm -hmm. And then, you know, I think the first question has to be, you know, this movie is obviously, uh, you know, it's fiction, but at the same time, it's, it's really, it's talking, it's, it's a story that, that has a lot of real characters and a real story that we, you know, sadly we see it every day. So what drew you to the, to the movie? What drew you to the project? What drew you to the, to the character? Um, but just what you said, to me, it was an action film that had a, in the action film, there was the thread, very finely threaded story of humanity and of who we are, uh, especially as immigrants. I'm, I come from a family of immigrants, so I know the story firsthand. I know the experience, I, I, I've lived with it, I've grown up with it, and I am an immigrant myself. I was born in Mexico and now I'm, I'm, I'm here. So, um, so that was very important to me, to, to be able to put a little bit of what my heart knows in, into that, to pour that in. I, I, I want to jump into what you just said, and that was obviously my second question. And, and obviously what Rosa had to go through is really difficult. So I, 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 don't wanna, I, don't wanna, I don't want you to answer me that you relate to it that, that, that much. But uh, how much were you able to, you know, to capture from Rosa? What were you able to learn from Rosa or from the situation and that you, you, know, you, you saw yourself, ah, I can relate to it? I can relate to the fact that she doesn't want to leave Mexico, that she's happy there. I can relate to that fact. And, and I think that's something that we wanted to really portray in the film. And you see it in the beginning, you know, that I'm cooking for my son and he's doing his homework. And, and I think immigrants, wherever they come from, whichever com country they come from, they're happy there. They're happy where they're from. And then they have to stay. They have to go. And, and they, they're seeking refuge somewhere else so so to me it was important to to leave that really clear in the screen um to help break a, a lot of the stereotypes you know that our countries are this or that or you know they're oh, the people that cross are only you know whatever whatever things are said that i'm just not going to repeat um i think it's important to see content with people that you admire like liam neeson mm -hmm. um so that so that you may also open up your mind a little bit and, and question what it is that you believe and, and also begin to accept other cultures, accept other people. That is what I take from this film. Um, this, this movie is an action movie. It's this action pack. It has a lot of scenes that you're moving a lot. What, will, mm -hmm. what, what, would you found, what did you find difficult or did you find something specific and difficult for this or challenging for this project that you worked on on the other projects? Um, what did I find challenging? You know, this was a movie that we that really took us. It was really, you know, sometimes you are the one who's doing the work to create a character. But in this specific film, I remember when I was reading the, the script, uh, when I was studying, there came a point where I, I just had to stop because the emotion overwhelmed me. And I, and I realized this is bigger than me. So I'm just gonna let, let this take me. And when we, when we got to set and we were shooting that that scene in the desert with Liam and with Jacob, um, mm -hmm. the, the boy, that's just what we did. We just let the emotion of what has happened in those deserts take us and, and lift us. And hopefully that is what you see in the film. I'm glad you mentioned that specific scene because to me that was an important, I think that was turning point of the movie and a really emotional scene where, where mm -hmm. Felicia Rosa has to part with with, uh, you know, with, with, with his son because of the situation. So what was your initial reaction when you read the script and you, you know, you planned out, hey, this is where the story is going. And, you know, you know maybe how, how, how would you react to it? How you would yourself react to that, to that situation? Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, when I read the, I think I read the script a couple of times. And then when I started working on, on you know, what I was gonna do with, with that material, when I got to that scene, I couldn't even read it. I couldn't, it was just so strong for me. And I just, I left it alone. I almost didn't even want to learn my lines. I just wanted to leave it alone. And then when we got to set, I think a lot of the times actors do a lot of prep or work or this or that, but I feel like sometimes there are characters that are so big and there are experiences that are much, much bigger than you, that if you just open up your sensitivity, and it'll, 
it takes you. And that's what, and, and Liam was very good with us in that scene because he realized that. He realized that Jacob and I had this, you know, from even from our ancestors, that like we had this thing that was going to ignite. And he, what he did was he, he protected us. He contained us. He was with us. He protected that sec sacred space that we were creating. So it was really a, a work that was very beautiful to create together. I want to talk about Liam and, and you know, I, 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 I'm glad we have mentioned him already a bunch of times. How, what were you able to learn from him? You know, he's such a legend already. And it, it, I mean, even at his, at his age, he has been, he's getting what he thinks he wants or, uh, you know, so what were you able to learn from him? And then just maybe give us a little bit of an anecdote that something fun that happened with him while you were on set. Well, he's really funny, actually. I never expected that, I think. He's really funny. And uh, whenever he takes pictures, he does duck faces. I don't even do duck face. <laughs> he's always doing duck face. <laughs> and he's fun to be around. And, and uh, he's, he was also very committed to the subject matter. He, he was just, you know, he was talking about how we have to talk about that families belong together, that children do not belong in cages. And that this is the reason why he signed up to do this film, because he could do any film he wanted. And he picked this narrative so that he might bring light to it. That was really, that was really incredible. So one final question, and I, I tend to end, end my, my interviews this way because I want, you know, maybe like, like a, I want people to get a little bit of a human sense or a little bit of a sense of what they can take away from the movie. So what can, what would you expect people to take away from the movie once they see it, or, you know? I hope that, I think a lot of the people that will go see the film are Liam Neeson fans. And so when you have an idol like that, you want to do what the idol does, right? You want to be like that person. And in this particular film, he changes his heart. He goes from having one set of beliefs toward other cultures, toward other people, and he changes. He opens up his heart and he has a space in his, in his mind to, to, be, to change who he is, who he, what he thinks is right. So I hope that whoever goes to see this movie can question what they believe and can come cl closer to n to accepting that we are all all the same and that the world mm -hmm. belongs to all of us. Again, Dela, thank you for your time. And uh, again, congratulations on the movie. And I'm very, very I'm gonna I'm gonna congratulate you on, on your career. Thank you. Thank you.